Hey there, and welcome to the Voice of AI and the Copilot Essentials Series. My name's Chris Plant, and I'm really excited to guide you through everything you need to know about getting the most out of your AI Copilot. So, as you'll all know, when you go into your Copilot page, you should be using Edge Browser for using Copilot, and this is a preferred um, a preferred browser to to have the optimum Copilot experience. So, we would prefer you to use that. And it's very important to understand that when you're using the work or the web version of Copilot, there is a difference. And in this image, you can see at the top here, I've toggled to the work version. And you know when you're in the work version because you'll see on the right hand side here your recent activity. And you'll see in the middle of the page the Copilot for 365 here as well. And also you can see the frequently asked questions that can help prompt you to give some interesting uh, answers to your questions. And also you can use this version of Copilot to locate Ella documents on SharePoint and OneDrive, which I'll show you in the training later. And when I click on the web version, for instance, uh, the interface is simpler and you will not have this recent activity. So just remember when you're in the web version, uh, anything, any time that you close your browser down, you will lose uh, the actual document that you're working on at that time. So this is very good for a recent activity here. So I'll just show you now on the next page. This is the web version. So I've toggled over here to web. And you can tell the web version is the web version because you've got these AI generated images really large in a second. How do I set achievable goals of work? You can scroll through and have a look at these. And you can see also up here that you're protected with the green uh, sign at the top right. And this means that your data is not used to train by Microsoft. However, please remember that because this is uh, the web version is still classified as a third-party generative AI application. So the level three start guidelines will apply to this web version of Copilot. Now, what I'll do is just show you quickly again now with a little video of how that just works. Okay, so just ignore the sound in the background there, but here you see we have the work and the web version. I can click back to work. You see up here is the recent activity on the right-hand side. You see the copilot for Microsoft 365 in the middle. And then here are your FAQs, your frequently asked questions that you can click. I go back to the web version and you can see copilot, your everyday AI companion. And here you can just scroll through some interesting uh, ideas. You can see the protected sign. And up here, you definitely do not see, as you do in the work here, these recent activity. So you will lose, if you're working in the web and you navigate away from it, you'll lose what you're working on there. So just a heads up for that really. Whether you're a complete beginner or looking to fine tune your skills, this series is designed to help you harness the full potential of this powerful tool, Copilot. Thanks for watching the video today. Please like and subscribe and join me on the journey to unlock the potential of AI. I'll see you next time and all the very best. I'm Chris from The Voice of AI. Cheers and bye-bye now.